Hello everyone, this is Dino Chris from Priest of Facts and Colossal Fossils. Today we're actually going to be talk doing an extra episode today, and that extra episode is extra episode 39, and this is a dig site that we're actually going to be talking about, and it's nicknamed the Big Pig Dig. And so I'll be going over like uh, where its location is, and the and like the locations like geology, and of course uh, talk about the actual site and what was actually found in this site. So the location of where the Big Pig Dig is, it is in Badlands National Park in South Dakota. And so here is a map of the national, this is from the National Parks uh, website. And you can actually uh, see how big the Badlands is. And uh, further uh, west, you actually have uh, the Black Hills. And uh, I've been to Badlands National Park myself, and it was a very, very neat uh, geologic location uh, that I have ever, that is one of the best geologic sites I've ever been to. Uh, it is a lot, it's a really large land. Uh, we actually, I actually covered a little bit of this uh, national park. And so it was actually a lot of fun to actually get to go see. So the geology of Badlands National Park, uh, the age of the rocks is from 75 to 28 million years. And so this is actually a lot of layers of rock. And the layers of rock, they actually consist of shale, sandstone, siltstone, mudstone, claystone, limestone, and volcanic ash. Now the volcanic ash is actually kind of a small layer uh, in these rocks. And so you're not gonna see huge amounts of volcanic ash. And a lot of this volcanic ash actually came from the super volcano that is also known as Yellowstone. And Yellowstone was actually not in Wyoming uh, at that time, uh, around say 35 to 25 million years ago. It was actually towards Utah, uh, believe it or not. And that's actually pretty neat. And the types of and the types of rock formations that we're actually going to see in Badlands National Park is pure shale, Chadron formation, the Brule formation, and Sharps formation. And so, and all those for and usually those formations that are make up the Chadron, the Brule, and the Sharps is actually also known as the White River uh, type of formation. And that's where you actually are going to find a lot of the fossils. So the actual site, the Big Pig Dig, it is dated 34 million years ago. And the digging actually started in 1997. It was all thanks to tourists, two tourists that actually spotted some bones that were actually sticking out of the ground, uh, out of the rocks, and they reported it to rangers. And so the rangers actually kind of came down where the visitors actually uh, found some of these bones. And so they had expert geologists and paleontologists come by and they actually found a bunch and they actually realized, wait a minute, there's more bones here. So this could actually be an actual site that we can actually go dig. And so the site is actually pretty much in the Brule Formation. And so the Brule Formation is 34 to 30 million years ago. And of all the fossils and all the fossils they collected, they collected more than 19,000 fossils. That's pretty astounding. It is not the largest dig site uh, in terms of like, say, numbers of actual fossils. And so when you're actually going into Bad Badlands National Park, like say, like on a future, like in the future, like say for like a family trip or something like that, and you're trying to uh, ask a ranger, uh, like, uh, can you tell me where the big pig dig is? And But the thing is, it's not active anymore uh, because in 2008, they actually, at the end, around 2008, that was pretty much the last time they actually dug in the Big Pig Dig. And so the Big Pig Dig uh, was pretty much buried. Uh, they actually had to fill that up with a bunch of soil and debris. And so they actually filled that up because there was not that much bones uh, left to be discovered in that site. And so where you're actually going to find the Big Pig Dig is actually in a path, on a road path, uh, where you're actually going to see a sign that actually says site of the Big Pig Dig. And it's pretty neat. It is very, very neat. And of all the fossils that were actually found in the Big Pig, in the Big Pig Dig uh, is Archaeotherium, which is also nicknamed the uh, Hell Pig or the Terminator Pig, whatever you want to call it, nicknamed those. And uh, Archaeotherium 
is more closely related to hippos than with pigs. But even though they kind of are kind of part of the same family group, so you kind of get the idea there. You also have subhyracodon, subhyracodon, and that is an ancient rhino. And so it's a and it's not as big as a rhino. It would actually almost look like a rhino, but it didn't have a horn. And so this is an animal that actually did, was a hornless rhino. It was probably about the size of, like, say, your domesticated pig. And then you actually have Mesohippus, which is an early horse. And, of course, you actually, and also the la one of the last uh, known fossils in the Big Pig Dago is an animal called Leptomerix. And Leptomerix is a type of mouse deer. And so it's a very tiny, it's a very tiny animal, and so it's going to, uh, in the namesake, it's a small deer. And so here's some pictures of some of these animals that I just described. So the top left corner, that is Archaeotherium, and uh, is a, it almost looks like a very menacing animal uh, when you actually look at it, uh, based on the skeleton. And so it has two hooves, so it's an even hoofed uh, animal. And it has some really nasty looking teeth. And I'll probably do another episode, I'll probably do a Redux episode of Archaeotherium at some point. And so you guys can actually get an idea of, uh, of, uh, of uh, what Archaeotherium probably was. But uh, I'll probably go through like an Intellidot, an Intellidot family group uh, episode at some point. So you guys can get the idea of how menacing these guys are. Then on the top right corner, that is Leptomerix. This is the mouse deer. And this is one of the most complete fossils you're actually going to see out of that one. At the bottom left corner is Mesohippus. And Mesohippus is that early horse. And it has three toes, or three hooves, uh, three toed hooves uh, on it for its feet. And then the final picture that is actually the bottom right corner, that is sub hierocodon and so this is the early rhino and uh, it's a pretty it, it's a pretty cool animal i i would say it's and badlands national park has got some of the one of the greatest uh faunas that you're actually ever going to see in terms of mammals and so here's some pictures of of the area of where the big pig dig is so this picture right over here this picture where you got this like uh, covering right here this is this was the actual site in Badlands National Park, uh, of course, there is nothing, there is no coverings, no, like, uh, uh, you know, those uh, type of, like, huts where you actually see where, like, a paleontologist are digging uh, for the fossils. It's because uh, they actually got those down. They took those down uh, around after 2008, and they just, and pretty much was like, this is not a active dig site anymore. And so, and, uh, and of course, this is a park ranger, and this was the park ranger that I actually uh, got the t got a tour of Badlands National Park. It was for a college trip, and uh, Ed Welsh and uh, Ed Welsh, if you're watch if you're actually watching this video, uh, salute to you and thank you for actually teaching me about the uh, geology and also the paleontology of Badlands National Park. This is a uh, and this is kind of around the area where the Big Pig Dig is, uh, kind of today, and so. And uh, if you get Ed Welsh as a ranger, uh, he is an awesome dude. He is an awesome guy. He he knows his stuff. He knows his stuff about Badlands National Park. And uh, he's a paleontologist himself. Uh, he actually is in the field of studying like Nimravids or uh, false cats and also ancient uh, uh, predators that actually are very similar to dogs. And so you can ask him anything about Nimravids or false cats or even like ancient uh, dogs, uh, he'll be the guy. You'll, he'll be the guy to answer your questions right there. So the next episode would actually be on June twenty fifth, twenty twenty, and there'll be a Q and A. So if you got any questions about dinosaurs or any other prehistoric life, feel free to email me at dinochris seventy one at gmail dot com, or just go to my Facebook page, Prehistoric Facts with Dino Chris. Like the page, you actually post your questions in the comment section. And uh, YouTubers out there, feel free to like every video, uh, subscribe to the channel because that helps me a lot, and you guys can actually get every single content. And also, uh, stomp on that notification bell and. Uh, so that we can get notified about each, every single video I actually post every week. And also post your questions in the comment section. I would love, and I read them all, and that's pretty good. And also try to change up your questions from, from, from time to time, because if you're asking me the same question over and over and over again, it does get a little bit 
uh, tiring for me, and, and I won't answer those questions anymore for for a while. But but at least try to change up your questions a bit. But at least uh, try to keep them as good as possible and also keep your questions short to the point. You can also follow me on Twitter at CSGRILL. That's my Twitter page. I post pretty cool stuff on there. Also, take care of the people around you. And also, for younger people out there, make sure to listen to your parents, your teachers, and your guardians. It's the best motivation you can have for a good education. It's very important to have a good education. With a good education, you're going to get a good job in the future. And also, uh, make sure to thank all the doctors, nurses, and the EMTs that actually are responding to this kind of pandemic because they're they're real heroes in this in this pandemic and we do, and we should give them some love and also make sure you actually are giving love to everybody else as well like uh sh like show love to your neighbor your friends your family uh so that way they know that you're actually showing care for them that's it for now and i'll see you guys next time